excellent danger. That which goes on in the absence of impression. When the mind is younger, you walk into a room full of people and wonder what they think of you. And after a certain turning, the equation reverses. Then, like most things, becomes inconsequential. Flowers, bright and rare in the deep woods, they go through their seasons. Death and flourishing becomes them, regardless of being seen. Most are not. The grass is not greener. There is no other side. And very few can avoid the strangely arousing fatality of comparison. You spend your life looking for what you've already got. You spend your life trying to impress those who have impressed you. Each of my dreams is a white cane clicking where the curb once was. Every sentence uttered just a bucket full of holes, and still the waters come without regard. Love and wind, with no preference of person, like all things true, a beautiful mess. The muse is jealous and relentless. Haunting the me I wish I knew. You should live unknown if you would fulfill your calling. Strange voices, colored shadows. My heart spreads, reclining, a still liquid waiting for a backward falling. Thoughts like striped towels hanging on the line. I live in two worlds, like the squinting dolphin swimming effortlessly through one element while breathing the air of another he knows nothing about. I am the beginner who doesn't ask why, standing in front of a mirror, seeing nothing. A thin apparition. Quivering in the heat of the road, I check my watch, but don't catch the time. I'm the juggler, and I'm the boss. I'm Jonah and the whale. Circles and spheres, elaborate and unadorned. Happy and troubled because I love and do not know. Because I love and do not know.